Hi there, welcome to another edition of my developer experience blog. Today what we're going to be talking about is our first level 300 project, which is going to form the basis of all the tutorials that we're going to do over the next few months. The first project I'm going to do, interestingly, is an aircraft tracking demo. So let me show you the current demo. So this is a live demo. These are actual aircraft flying in the world right now. Uh, we've got a few friends of mine at work with their own Raspberry Pis, which are contributing data to this and streaming this live. So as you can see, we've got 169 aircraft and nine ground stations currently. If I zoom into the UK for a bit, just to show you exactly what's going on, you can see that we've got the tracks of these aircraft. So we've got nine ground stations, live data flying into a system, which is a message-driven system, RabbitMQ. Uh, and what we're doing here is, as you can see, if I click on one of these aircraft, we see the aircraft information, the position, speed, and its current uh, trajectory. And we see other metadata in this system as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building this entire app from scratch. And I'll show you how to do it. The architecture of this app is pretty straightforward, really. So you've got multiple ground stations that are all using AMQP, which is like a message streaming protocol quite common for internet things and online message streaming. And that goes to an open source piece of software called RabbitMQ. So we've got an exchange there. So all this data lands in the same exchange. We then have a few different microservices, one which extracts that data and puts it in the, this is the aircraft's current position view. So that's a live in memory view in Redis. And then we have another one, which is taking that data and storing every single point that we have for that aircraft and that's a historical view so i can view uh, you know the track of that last entire flight of the aircraft if i want um, or i could do analytics and machine learning over all of that data to gain some new insight perhaps you know the most efficient routes for people to take i've got different versions of those microservices as well so whether you're java house or dotnet house we'll show you how to do that with multiple languages We'll also then build this web user interface here using React.js and the REST APIs that sit behind it. And then we'll do the full system backend lockdown as well. So we're going to use a Kubernetes environment. Uh, we're going to provide the base layer, how we're going to secure that, the application data services on top of that, and then show you how to describe and make your whole application redistributable. So it's a big project, but it is already working. So I'll show you exactly how to do this from scratch. So a real application in a real large project. Hope you enjoy the show.